The radar cross-section of a target is the area that intercepts the radar's transmitted signals and reflects them back to the radar receiver. But what really determines this radar cross-section size? I'm an aerospace engineer and the first is the geometric cross-section which is essentially the visible area presented to the radar. Think of a flat plate facing directly versus edge on. The orientation dramatically affects detection and the radar power that the aircraft intercepts equals the transmitted radar power at its location times the area the aircraft presents to the radar. The second is reflectivity and this describes how much of this intercepted radar energy is reflected rather than absorbed, and it can be expressed as the total radar power scattered by the target divided by the intercepted power radar energy. Then comes directivity, which concerns how much of that radar energy is scattered directly back to the radar antenna rather than uniformly in every direction. So then directivity can be expressed as the power that is reflected toward the radar divided by the radar power if it were radiated outward equally in a sphere. By optimizing for these three factors, engineers can dramatically shrink radar cross-sections.